what's up everybody it's your girl be back with another video so today all we have is my baby little mini tarot deck um i don't have any oracle cards so we're just gonna get right into it we did have the ace of pentacles that was just flipped up in the deck so maybe there's gonna be some brand new opportunity that's gonna be coming your way i might look a little tired guys <laughs> i slept in today so definitely somebody wants to come in and work together with you could be somebody that like um when it comes to business or something like that could be somebody that you consider like um like a i want to say older sister <laughs> but somebody that you consider like you know that you're real close with them maybe you want to work with this person this is romantic maybe you really want to um you know get to know this person if it's a if someone new so let's see what's the energy i don't want these cards are so little i don't want them to fly everywhere so i'm gonna go slow when i shuffle so let me give me the energy overall energy spirit give me one card for the overall energy all right the emperor i don't know if you guys saw how that flew out but maybe because when I shuffle cards, like, I could feel the energy. And literally, when I put this back in, but it, when I feel the card come out and, like, the energy, it flies and, like, hits me. Like, it's just insane. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but the Emperor talks about somebody being a boss, somebody being in their power, somebody really being assertive. And um, they have a crown. Look at that crown that they have on their head. They're not giving that crown up and they're not... They know what they want. They, you know, they got, I, I looked at these are fangs. So maybe this person in the past could have been kind of like a vampire energy, like a vampire, uh, energy vampire. So page of wands and the justice. So yeah, I feel like yeah, this is, could have been in the past that they were kind of immature. Um, they could be wanting to send you a message because the page of wands talks about a message. Um, two, one, two. Uh, I feel like, uh, the justice, they really want to balance out some sort of situation. Maybe they want to come in and give you some sort of truth or just to balance out the scales. I feel like this person is all about the fairness and is all about, I'm getting burps and hiccups. So definitely channeling a divine masculine because usually like when I get like burps and hiccups and like I have trouble. That's usually channeling like a divine masculine energy or a masculine energy. So this person definitely wants to send you some sort of message. Let's see. Oh, no. I have some paperwork right here. Paperwork right here. So it kind of stopped it from going down. So we got three cards. <clears throat> so they could be wanting to come in and give you some sort of apology. It's really hot in here. Um, they could be wanting to give you some sort of apology um the four of pentacles talks about holding on to something maybe this person is really holding on to their finances maybe this person has been having some sort of difficulty when it comes to their finances so they're kind of like clinging on to every penny six of pentacles also talks about being sometimes it can talk about breadcrumbing so maybe somebody's breadcrumbing i feel like somebody's been watching you i feel like they want to come in and like really really quickly um but i don't get like a maybe you could be in your head so because what i was getting what i was saying is i don't get like uh they want to come in they're like watching you for like um like something good i feel like maybe if this is somebody because what i'm getting is maybe somebody you are ruining something for them maybe not ruining it but like they think that you are the person that maybe because if this is like a third party Maybe they think somebody wants to come in and, like, their partner wants to, like, do something with you. Or I don't know. Something along the lines of that. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Because I feel like this person is stuck in their head. Not of wands. Yeah, they want to. I feel like they think that this person is. Or maybe you think this person just wants to come in and just, like, be, like, you know, all about the. I'm going to turn my car because this is way too hot. But I don't want this to turn off. Let me see. I hope it doesn't. Please don't. No. Okay, let's see. I don't think it will. Because I'm really hot. The magician, I feel like this person is manifesting you. 
Um, they're definitely keeping an eye on you because there's that eye. You could be seeing a lot of feathers. What I was saying in the past is if this is somebody that's like a third party or maybe they got out of a relationship but this person is looking at them and they're like, oh, is this the person that my person is going towards or this could be an ex person, something like that. Ace of Wands talks about like a sexual energy. So maybe this person feels like their person or their ex person really wants um, some sort of like sexual energy with you. And I feel like this can be making somebody kind of jealous or something like that. Two of Pentacles could be kind of juggling th this person. Or if we're talking about like a situation where somebody's like juggling two people, maybe you guys have a lot of different options or something like that. I don't know. Let's see the world maybe there's gonna be some sort of ending the world talks about an ending completion a cycle ending okay so it could have been some sort of heartbreak you could have had to protect yourself from somebody or some situation could have left you kind of feeling stuck could have been a capricorn uh virgo uh let's see what's another one cancer scorpio pisces you could have been dealing with any of those signs um okay so when I was looking, I said, what's ending? So, and then the Queen of Cups came out. Maybe you're no longer being nurturing towards somebody or something like that. Maybe you're no longer giving your cup of love to somebody or something like that. Or maybe you want to give your cup of love to somebody. Um, you could drink a lot of tea. <coughs> or maybe you guys are drinking a lot of tea because I just coughed right now. So maybe you guys are having some sort of like you guys are overcoming some sort of like sore throat or being sick or just kind of recovering in general trying to regenerate your body i feel like there could have been a situation because for some reason i'm feeling like third parties and third parties does not have to mean romantic third parties can mean work like my third party is work i'm always focused on work that's a third party that's a third situation third party situation it could be anything it could be alcohol you're putting your priority to alcohol and not your partner type of thing like so i feel like when i say this is like the lovers and the ten of wands talks about some sort of burdens there needs to be some sort of choice that needs to be made two of wands uh at the bottom of the deck it talks about you need to really put your pen on paper write down the plan what your steps are what you need to do where do you want to go what do you want to what the steps you need to take to become this empress to become to be in your power you guys collect a lot of like you guys collect to swim a lot four of wands talks about victory celebration marriage commitment judgment and nine of cups so yeah i feel like somebody is definitely wanting to I'm telling you, somebody wants to come in and give you. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. They feel like they have to walk away from something, though. Let's see. Maybe their ego. They got to walk away from their ego because their ego could be. And they need to go within with their hermit card. You could, like, this person could be kind of slow in their, in, like, what the, how they come towards you. They could be kind of slow in communication. They could be kind of slow. It could be a long time because this is a sloth on here. And sloths are very slow. And I'm getting the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely true love situation. Somebody loves you a lot. They care about you. They want to see long term with you. I think that you need to stop getting in your head if you're in your head. Yeah, two of swords. You're in your head. This talks about not wanting to make some sort of decision, knowing that you have to make a decision and you don't want to make the decision. Five of Pentacles. It could kind of leave somebody out in the cold or it could be um, Hierophant. It could be um, Taurus. Scorpio, Virgo, excuse me guys, Gemini, you could be leaving somebody on the cold, it could be some sort of higher level of commitment, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords, yeah, so there could be some sort of family dynamic that could be ending, um, but do you, you, got, you guys know that when it comes to, uh, I'm getting a phone call, when it comes to endings, when what endings bring new beginnings. So I think that you guys have to stay persistent, per, persevere through anything that you guys are going through. Ten of Cups, this is going to lead to a happy life, happy family, happy, you know, just stay focused on yourself. Try not to let anything bother you. Try not to let any other people bother you or just like focus on yourself. I gotta get look i cut the, i cut the deck on the empress card so taurus libra is what i'm getting so 
definitely somebody for swords you guys are definitely healing at this present moment so continue to heal continue to um work hard continue to stay in your lane don't mind anybody else and that's the advice that i'm giving to you so i hope you guys like it share subscribe energetically donate to my channel by liking my videos comment even just say hey what's up and um yeah let me know if it resonates i hope you guys like the video like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.